Coronary steel syndrome is a condition where there is a fall in blood flow to a certain section of the heart in favor of another section during coronary vasodilation. It is typically caused by the use of vasodilators like dipyridamol in individuals with coronary artery disease. In severe cases, blood flow can be completely cut off. This results in myocardial infarction or the necrosis of a portion of myocardium. This typically happens if blood flow has been cut off for more than 20 minutes. Symptoms of coronary steel syndrome is similar to myocardial infarction and include a typical type of chest pain, which is described as a squeezing pain or pressure that might radiate up to the left arm, jaw, shoulders, or back. Other symptoms include shortness of breath, diaphoresis or sweating, nausea, and fatigue. Coronary steel syndrome is diagnosed with the help of an ECG, which shows an ST-segment depression, and by coronary angiography. Treatment of coronary steel syndrome involves opening up the obstructed coronary artery. It is done by using a balloon angioplasty or percutaneous coronary intervention. In the end, here are some drugs which can cause coronary steel syndrome. Remember the mnemonics, VINDA, V for vasodilators, I for isoflurane, N for nitroprusside, D for dipyridamol, and A for adenosine. So, that's all for today. Hope you like this video. And as always, stay tuned for more. Thank you.